Hi, this is Chris Coleman. I'm at Drinking Liberally at the Groveland Tap in St. Paul, Minnesota. This is the first event in St. Paul for Drinking Liberally, and it's very fun. There's a lot of folks here. Drinking Liberally is actually a group of people that get together and are mostly progressive, although sometimes we have people from each side, and we drink beer and we talk politics. I am actually drinking water because at eight months pregnant, the Surgeon General says, you can drink, but don't drink liberally. Actually, they say don't drink at all. We're here with Jason Barnett, and we're going to ask Jason, why is he kind of participating in the blog world? Jason, tell me about uh, your, uh, your work here on video and how you're going to stream these things and what you're going to do. Well, uh, we're, we're working on a project called The Uptake, and what it is is basically an online video magazine, and we're going to be producing uh, video stories uh, focused on politics over the next year, um, concentrating around the Republican National Convention here in St. Paul and the Democratic National Convention in uh, Denver. And we have a, a group organized in both states at the moment. We're, we're sending a team down to Iowa to cover the Iowa caucuses. And we are working with other partnerships to make it a national play. Okay, you gotta work on the sound bite. But beyond that, now tell me, you, uh, you were recently in my office filming me about uh, the RNC convention, which is coming to the city of St. Paul. My understanding is you are going to be broadcasting this thing over the Huffington Network or something along those lines with Ariana Huffington. Tell me about that. Well, we have uh, worked a relationship with we're, we're able to post things on the Huffington Post, and we're working with one of the writers over there to, to help promote the stories that we're doing here in St. Paul. And so, yes, it'll be, we'll be posting video on the Huffington Post uh, covering the Republican National Convention. Have you met Ariana? I have not. I heard she's very charming, though. But she used to be a conservative Republican. How did this happen that she became a liberal? Well, I, I would just hope that it's just, just general wisdom. That is true. With age comes wisdom, and some of us are aging better than others. Well, thank you very much. It's good to see you.